today on Strange Places. Max Power, Jose California, and the Mystery Woman rediscover a historic mansion built by the man famous for creating the classic Coca-Cola bottle, which is now in shambles. Our explorer will take us deep inside the Forgotten Manor and find that it is no ordinary historic mansion. Hello, welcome to Strange Places, where we go places that most people wouldn't dare to fetch. And I am your host, Max Power. Today on Strange Places, we are going to be visiting this massive historic mansion built and once owned by the man who invented the Coca-Cola bottle. So before we begin our explore, let's first explore the history on this mansion and how it came to be in the first place, and how this small bottle became an American icon, and how it is solely responsible for the construction of this elegant, beautiful, and awe-inspiring estate. Cheers. The Coca-Cola bottle was designed and manufactured by a businessman named Chapman J. Root. He founded the Root Glass Company in 1901. While his company was very lucrative, his real claim to fame would not come until 14 years later. In 1915, Coca-Cola was facing competition from a variety of carbonated beverage companies. One of the ways Coca-Cola planned to stand out amongst the competition was a one-of-the-kind, recognizable bottle with distinguishing features. Coca-Cola decided to hold a contest to design their new Coca-Cola bottle. The best design would win the manufacturing contract. When Root's company won, it secured his future as a businessman and cemented his position in history as the creator of an American icon. In 1932, Root sold his glass company in order to focus on Coca-Cola bottling. When he died in 1945, he was the richest man in Indiana. And throughout Coca-Cola's history, they have used slight variations of the same bottle design by Chapman Root all those years ago. And as you can see, that same historic design comes through even in today's Coca-Cola bottles. As for the structure itself, there is very little known about the Spanish Revival Mansion other than it was built by Chapman Root and was one of the most lavish and most expensive estates in the city. The glass structures are an ode to his famous glass manufacturing company, and the glass may have been sourced by that same company. Now let's take it back to Max Power at the abandoned mansion. If you haven't already, please go down there right now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. It really helps me out a lot, and here's the best part. You'll be able to see Strange Place videos the moment they come out, so go down there right now, it'll take you five seconds. Now we take you to the abandoned Coca-Cola mansion on Strange Places. We were awestruck the moment we arrived. greenhouse that connected this guest house looking thing with the main house which we are going to check out in a bit yeah a lot of these panes of glass are broken obviously this is very decayed it's been overtaken by the shrubs and the vines this is the most beautifully decayed location i've been to it it just it looks perfect glass walkway it felt like you're outside but of course you're all in this this contained structure which is really nice it connects the guest room to that greenhouse and now we're heading into the main house right now the inside was heavily vandalized and graffiti Yeah, it's like a. It's it probably doesn't. It's like a, a double heater. I think it's a, a it's straight up elevator. elevator. Yeah. You know that yeah, Chapman had shop. a lot of money because he had an elevator inside of his house. Oh. 
After exploring the living room area, I ventured into the kitchen, which was in a heavy state of decay and also heavily vandalized. But the coolest feature of the main wing of the house was yet to come. Creative graffiti poop balls. This is a PG 13 graffiti artist poop balls. If you're gonna graffiti an abandoned place, at least make it cool. It just says sex on the wall. Like, it's not even funny. <laughs> sex. <laughs> it says sex. I wrote sex on a wall of an abandoned building. <laughs> poop balls. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, how about this, guys? <laughs> I made it say root ass company. <laughs> What do they do? Make ass at this factory? <laughs> like, grow up. Come on. You guys gotta come up with something funny or creative. It's not funny. It's just stupid. Then, it was time to explore the upstairs. The second floor was littered with clothes and other small possessions, which were covered in dust and pieces of drywall. I looked through the top hatch to see some of the mechanics of the house's elevator. From the balcony, there is a great view of the estate's glass workings, including the greenhouse and the walkway. Then, I descended down the spiral staircase into the basement. Not too much to see up there, but I'm gonna go down to the basement and we're gonna see what we can find. Basement is sick. Walking downstairs is like a trip back in time because of the styling, the light fixtures, the bar, the woodwork, the stonework, everything about this place is very, it, it, it looks very old. The stuff upstairs really isn't that remarkable. It looks like something out of the 70s or 80s, but down here it looks like it's very old. Then, we checked out the guest house, which is attached to the main mansion via the greenhouse. We got Rambo here. Where is Jose? Oh, hey. there he is. 
the next power strange places what's up guys what's strange up? places we go places where most people wouldn't dare to venture and she's here doing her thing and we're squatting up today so yeah yeah i told you she was here guys go <laughs> follow jose california the king of chicago urbex you're the best max also check out the mystery woman the up-and-coming star of the community and thanks for watching Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also check out Jose California and The Mystery Woman. Their social media is going to be in the description. I'm your host, Max Power. See you next time on stream.